Be the musical, A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, a silly comedy is set in the early, early 20th century Britain. Monty Navarro is played by Blake Price, and he has to bring down the eight Dicequith family members to ultimately end his, uh, so bring them down so that he can claim his family's inheritance. James Taylor Odom plays all eight of those dice with family members. <laughs> it took me all night to practice dice with. I don't know how you guys do it. And tell all the different names that you play. And they're all difficult. Asquith, Ezekiel, Asquith dice with Senior, Asquith dice with Junior, Bartholomew, Salome, Hyacinth. See, and I, I thought if you had a speech impediment, we're totally, you know, we <laughs> cannot yeah, do this, right? Yeah. Now, I was talking to you guys beforehand. You, both of you play very demanding roles for very different reasons. Blake, explain why yours is so exhausting. So, Monty is basically on stage for about like you said, you said about like 98% of the show. Sure seemed I, like it. I think we factored into about like 95%. I think I'm off stage for a total of, I don't know, five minutes in the entire show itself. Um, so vocally, it's things it's things you don't think about like, when am I drinking water? When am I Catching breathing? my breath, right. Yeah, it's things like that. And for James, very, very different story. Yeah, James, you know? you're playing eight characters that, that pop up literally all over the stage. Right. What is that like? You know, it's crazy. It's crazy uh, going on as one character and immediately running off and having maybe 15 seconds to do a quick change with wigs, costumes, makeup, facial uh, hair, facial hair, mm -hmm. uh, false teeth, props. <laughs> I mean, it's insane. Yeah. Um, and so while he's on stage, I'm running off, changing, coming right back on as a whole new person, whether a different woman, a different man, a different <laughs> age. You know. <laughs> yeah. It's it's always an adventure. There's no doubt. And the, and the funny thing is, is that there was a student um, in Fort Lauderdale who interviewed us um, basically asking us like acting things what do you do for your role what are the things you do to prepare and for me I was I was basically saying well I kind of go on stage and it just happens I just have a kind of a roller coaster ride I'm thrust into it for James it's a very different thing it's more physical it's like yeah. it's, changing it's quick in it's your quick you, you are changing those characters immediately with a, whatever that is with its, it, it's vo vocal intonation or whatever yes absolutely and as soon as the costume goes on it's really helping define the character for me before I go out on stage and have that split second to kind of figure out who I am what do I want what, what's about to happen with this guy yeah <laughs> and it's it is hilarious so okay the show opened last night it runs through Sunday reminder there are matinees on Saturday and Sunday as well at the Tulsa PAC you can go to our website newson6.com for ticket information and then just spend the whole night watching where James shows up I'm like wait wait was that him uh, was that him but it didn't look like him it, that was him I kept mm -hmm. watching your shoes